politics, latest report is former President Olushigan Abusanjo has come under attack from a section of his kinsmen, under the aegis of Yoruba Rome New Leadership Forum, for campaigning against President Muhammadu Buhari ahead of the 2019 general election. In a strongly worded statement signed by its general secretary, Akin Malalu, on Friday, the group said Abusanjo was trying to deceive Nigerians again with rhetorical and platitudinous speeches. The statement came barely 24 hours after Abusanjo endorsed the African Democratic Congress ADC, as the political platform to be deployed to unseat Buhari in 2019. But Yoruba Ronu said it was not surprised by Obasanjo's several statements to hoodwink Nigerians. They noted that, the ex-president and his fellow travelers took Nigerians for fools. The statement said, however, Nigerians do sincerely and mournfully remembered what the conditions of things were in relation to unemployment, corruption and general decadence of our many institutions of governance in the 16 years of PDP and power. It was not without doubt that the Yoruba Ronu Leadership Forum warned Nigerians against trusting the candidate Jonathan in 2010 due to his several weaknesses and obtuseness in power. More so, when Jonathan himself confirmed to our foreign friend, former United States Ambassador to Nigeria, Robin Sanders, that he lacked administrative experience to be president, but was there by chance because of where he came from which was South-South. Today, we can measure with clarity of mind, the sad and obtuse footprints he left behind. Leaders across the two divides, and including Abasanjo, Ohanis and Afenifer, all saw Jonathan's incapacitation in administration but they chose self-regarding objectives rather than other regarding objectives in their very many decisions. Democracies which distinguished a man from his office was snubbed for religion and tribalism to hold sway. They planted the seed of division long before now and they are still repeating same perplexing errors in their ignorance. People of Nigeria today wear better spectacles and with good perceptions to know what is good for them and for their children's future. They are not going to allow some false leaders and leaders that could commit abomination with ease take away their hopes in the present government of President Muhammadu Buhari. We must warn against war, because wars have never solved the needs for war anywhere in the world and in wars, procreation is delayed, women and their children would suffer. Nigerians must pray fervently against these ignoble men in their desire to enslave us all, we must pray for the extermination of what they all stands for. The progressives in a PC must prepare themselves in this war of attrition between thesis and antithesis, a political war that will be won by them due to fairness, justice and happiness which they have promoted in this present administration of President Buhari. Those who may want to go can go in peace, but the generality of Nigerians in the Yoruba race are with Buhari and the APC. We awesomely believe in the intervention and righteousness of the present government and administration. MYNACION News Readers Comments Comments <laughs>